Hello my soccer universe, we almost made it. It's part four of the Bundesliga jersey review. That means four teams are missing. I'm wearing one of these four missing teams, which is Gladbach. Um, last video was wearing Köln. This video we have Leverkusen and Gladbach in there, which yeah, two biggest rival of Köln uh, in many ways. So how did I actually decide on the, uh, the teams in this video? Well, if you've seen the previous parts, you already know I took the last season standing, as you see here in the video. Then I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on. And every team with a 4, which is exactly 4 of them, end up in this video. And then I sort them somewhat alphabetically. Um, and fortunately, either if I call them by Leverkusen or just Leverkusen, they are the first in this uh, video, which is where we will start. Uh, they are again flip-flopping with the colors. I think last season we had a um, red home jersey, now we're going back to a black home jersey. And uh, Le Leverkusen is always switching back to between back and forth between black and red. I have to say, personally, I find Le Leverkusen in red is a, a little bit more the classic look. So that has already a hard uh, time here. Then if you have the home jersey with a monochromatic crest, and I know there's not too much color on the crest for Leverkusen, it's always a little bit funny with the pill in the middle and the lions on the side. <laughs> Doesn't make it much better, um, to be honest. This is a rather plain Yako jersey. Um, there's not much to it. It's black, a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, and then you have the monochromatic Leverkusen crest. Here, I think a full crest would have given the Put this over the top. This way, I have to, have to say it's a rather boring four star jersey. The new away jersey, or how they call it, the McDonald's jer jerseys among the fans, um, actually looks a little bit better because it actually has a full color crest. And the yellow, although it doesn't make necessary sense for Leverkusen, although they sometimes had some yellow accents. Uh, it overall makes for makes a whole lot of sense because there's quite some yellow in the crest too. Um, would I like this to be black? Probably, but I think it's it's a much better jersey, jer jer even with even with the yellow accents. Uh, so much so that I'm gonna go six stars here because uh, yes, you have full color. This looks more Leverkusen than the home jersey does. And then they recycle the third jersey from last season with the diagonal striping. I think uh, the only reason to recycle is because you also have a monochromatic crest, so there's a little bit continuity there. At least they recycle one, because usually last season's home jersey became the away jersey, so that tradition is now a little bit broken. So let's do it with a third jersey. It doesn't make it a better jersey. Uh, this grayish, blah, 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 it's not my thing, and I keep the four stars that I gave it last season. Let's go to something a lot more entertaining with it, which, which is Mainz. They're now with Kappa, and they decided to go with the in, with a new identifying pattern, which is this uh, weird red and white pattern on the um, uh, sleeves. First, it looks crazy, but I have to say, the moment I saw it, yeah, I know Mainz had this crazy carnival uh, jersey, and I have to say, Mainz being one of the centers of the German carnival season, uh, this makes a whole lot of sense. Mainz, in many ways, in the German-speaking world, is synonymous with, with its carnival, so giving it this identity makes a whole lot of sense. Um, I didn't realize until I saw, saw all this picture, I mean, I've seen Mainz now a few times, that the uh, jersey is actually also a half and half look in uh, two red tones, which kind of tries to repeat this pattern. I have to say, keeping it on, on the sleeves would be fine. This is a little bit too much. I would have wished this goes a little, uh, tones the whole thing a little bit down. A solid red base would have done just fine here to uh, let this breathe. Uh, then let this you know let the pen on the sleeves breathe and you're not as distracted i also find that the sponsor logo especially is a little bit um too colorful that could have also used a little bit less color there uh but i have to say not many teams can pull off such a pattern and not feeling out of place and for that reason i actually want to give this for just pure daringness um yeah now the pattern at the sponsor, uh, uh, six stars. I want to go seven, but six stars is is is, is a thing where I want to go with it. Um, I like, for instance, the away jersey much better because everything that uh, you know, it's not as distracting what's happening on the on the jersey. You just have the pattern on on the sleeves, and it actually makes it much 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 better. Uh, again, the sponsor 
could be a little bit better fitting in, in, in there, especially the logo. Without the logo, I think that this would look really, really fine and uh, there, would, there would nothing be um, uh, speaking against it. It's just the sponsor box up, uh, up, up there that destroys it a little bit for me. But this one is a seven star jersey. This is really, really look, looking nice. I like that one. And then they have a golden third jersey. Given that Mainz is now going down, and we're always a little bit, you wonder why golden. Yeah, uh, Mainz had this uh, in the Middle Ages, it was called Golden Mainz. Um, so, plays on the nickname of, of the city. Therefore, it's defensible to have this color. Color gold is a great, not necessarily. Again, sponsor is my main issue with, with that one. Uh, but what I like here is that on the sleeve cuffs, you have the Kappa logo. I mean, you had it on the previous two, but uh, here you actually can see it because there's not the pattern on the sleeves, which is a little bit sad. I mean, you could have used the pattern here in red and white too. Uh, so yeah, so we're going here a little bit more down the middle here. I would give this a five star rating. And then we are going to the city team, Gladbach. And I'm so glad that I'm wearing on, I have this Gladbach jersey because here is what I like about Gladbach is that there was always a little bit of a green in there together uh, with some black and red. So this is for me a more classic Gladbach look. I understand in the beginning Gladbach was just white and black with a focus on white. Um, I also, the craft of culture, this, I think this is the pattern on there is uh, by one of the buildings of the new Gladbach, you know, the, one of the Gladbach office buildings. So that's reflect. Gladbach is not a very touristy town. Uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach is the most well-known uh, thing in that town. But to be honest, when you look at this church, there's one thing sorely missing first of all it is the pattern it, it's already very plain and rather boring and for a 120 year jer jersey Gladbach is celebrating that there's something wrong with it. but what really gets me is that the sponsor adds an orange tone that doesn't need to be there and what really gets me more if you watch Gladbach play and in the before for the game in the tunnel the sponsor can actually be applied in green there had the ex is in green if that wall was, was in green, I would go along with it and it looks fine. I have to say, this is horrible. It's really, really... Uh, it's not only boring, it is devoid of any context that I... Uh, you know, green is for me such an essential uh, aspect. It doesn't need to be that at all green. A little bit of a green touch there would uh, liven up any Gladbach jersey for me. Um, but there's just white, then this weird pattern, and then the sponsor that adds a color that does, is, really doesn't need to be, be there. And I prefer this over that sponsor. Because, yeah, the yellow, uh, what we got to, uh, to know, used to, 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 to do that, and actually fits a little bit more with the green. This orange comes out of nowhere. I really have a hard time. I, I have to say, I give this right now two stars because I don't like the pattern. I don't like the color. This is not a Gladbach jersey just for me. And uh, spoiler alert, none of the jerseys that they're pulling out are this. The away jersey takes this uh, Puma template and accents a little bit there. So that, that, that's why I get, get the white specs. But again, the orange. The orange is not right. I mean, that actually here would be a really nice jersey, especially if you would take the crest and maybe have a green outline. You know, put a little bit green. Just the sponsor needs, needs to be a little bit green. It's still, this is not a Gladbach jersey for, for... I understand, I understand. White and black mostly, but uh, since I'm watching, the, all the great Gladbach jerseys always had a dash of green in there really and, and for me the most iconic color look is, 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 is the one with the big stripe in the middle and then you know black and green a little bit this is completely missing here uh, two stars again I, I i really have a hard time with these uh, and then there's one jersey that has a little bit of green in in there and then it's such an off color and you still have have, have the orange there um, and i'm a little bit trolled by what's in the uh, you know on the center here where, where, where there's the black and green Honestly, honestly, yeah, this is by far the best one. I'm gonna give this five stars, but Gladbach really dropped the ball. And to kind of troll me even, no, no troll me, uh, because it's just Unicolor. They played now, they played one, one, one game in those blackout kits. And I am honestly, I have to tell you, I'm not a fan of the blackout uh, idea. Uh, I know that the Bundesliga did this last season for Dortmund, where even the Bundesliga logo could be in black. 
and so on. And yeah, it looks nice. You have the 1900-2020 and then the Gladbach uh, logo a little bit in there. You have a blacked out Gladbach logo. You have the original logo in black and white with this uh, kind of cursive Borussia on there, which is nice. The sponsor, yeah, it looks probably best this way. And then the big thing is that it says Borussia on the back uh, in uh, like it was was or was on the old logo. I mean, that actually looks good and dare I say it, I think this is the best looking Gladbach jersey, but it's not really, really a Gladbach jersey. I'm also gonna give this uh, six stars. And then the final team is a team that I hope we'll see next season again, because I always had sympathies for Schalke. And yeah, I almost bought a Schalke jersey, just, 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 just was sold out in the last, last minute. And I said, okay, if they remain in the Bundesliga, then I will get another one. Umbro finally delivered a Schalke jersey, as I said, this looks like Schalke, except I don't like the color. Uh, but other than that, I mean, if I want to have a Schalke jersey, that's the one. The color should go on should, should not be boxed off, but uh, other than that, there's nothing much wrong with that one. I even like the whole striping around, uh, around it. It's royal blue, it's what I want to see. Seven stars. The wager is actually interesting because it uh, around the crest you see this box and uh, a little bit. This is the outline of the stadium. So and kind of this should mimic the geography around the stadium. And you know I love stuff like that. Uh, makes out of a boring jersey something a whole lot more interesting. And I even like that the rest is you know there's a little bit of blue on on there with, with the sponsor and the logo. And then you have the map on there, which I think, smartly enough, is in gray. Um, that's just, you know, if the color was in blue or, in, or the sleeve cuffs to get a little bit more cackle in, I think I would like this even better. But it's not a bad church. So I'm also going to give this uh, seven stars. And again, you lose me when you go with a total off color and slap a crest on there. Yes, Schalke had been using green for a while, but I am not a fan. I'm simply not a fan of this, I have to say. And yeah, I go straight down the four star rod. All the Bundesliga jerseys are in the books, yay! Please let me know what you thought about uh, the jerseys in this video. I have to say, Bundesliga uh, compared to Liga, I think I gave a rather low on uh, grades. I have, to, I have the feeling, I have to do a summary of that. I want to know what you think of which jerseys you like uh, in the Bundesliga this season. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like these, I have many jersey review videos for the past two seasons. I have a La Liga jersey review, is probably the next one that's come, coming up, and then I have to do Champions League and Europa League. So, and maybe I'll do some other leagues too. Anyway, I will surely talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.